It's all about the conversation. Arrow.net, A-R-R-O-E.net. We are unplugged and totally uncut with Denise Crosby. Denise, who's a bigger fan, uh, Mets fans or Trekkie fans? Because I think those Mets fans are totally insane, don't you? <laughs> yeah. The Mets fans? Oh, God, we're not going. Hey, you know, my son is a pitcher. My son's a baseball pitcher. Oh, that's... He was, uh, he was drafted by the uh, Kansas City Royals in 2019, and... Um, and then COVID happened. So he had one week in spring training in Arizona with the Royals, and then there was lockdown. So there was no minor league season that year. So right now he's playing with the uh, MLB bought these three independent leagues, and he's playing in the Atlantic League right now in uh, outside of Philadelphia. That's what I've always loved. Lancaster it- bought that's what I've always loved about baseball because the Kansas City Royals, our farm team out there in Montana, were from the Royals. So I grew up, you know, really cherishing everything that was all about the Royals. Oh, that's so cool. That's so, awesome. So you grew up in Montana? I did. I, you been up there? Oh, God, it's so beautiful. And my stepfather was from Great Falls. So, yeah. <laughs> Great Great Falls is that one place that I never visited. And the reason why is because of the high school rivalries were so big up there that it was like, I'm not going to Great Falls. I'm not going to support them because we are the Billings Bronx, not the Great Falls Bisons. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, brother. I, I, I raised an athlete. I know, I know the uh, loyalties. <laughs> so now, wait, wait, speaking of loyalties, Trekkies and Trekkers and those that have always followed Star Trek. I mean, th- this is a loyal family. Oh, yeah. And I, I love the I love the Trekkies versus Trekkers debate. What what actually brought that in? Was it somebody who who, you know, it's it's, it's like you know, different circles of the of the country regions. I mean, what, why, why such a difference? You know, it's really funny because we, we address it in in uh, in Trekkies. Um, so Trekkers try to try to separate themselves from, um, you know, the, the, the hardcore old, old school, um, uh, nerdy fans from the more refined, uh, next generation of fans. But in fact, it's all the same. There, there's no difference, you know, it, 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 there's no difference with these guys. It's hysterical. I love the fact that they allowed you uh, the opportunity to start uh, sharing the story of these Trekkers in, inside Trekkies, the 25th anniversary edition, because it because we see them when we go to the Comic Cons and stuff like that. And but, but we don't get to know them as as human beings. Right, right. Exactly. That was the that was the uh, through line for for me in making this Um you know, I uh, I had been going to some conventions and comic cons, and I was really struck by uh, the the heart and soul of so many people that I met. And you know, their their the charities they were involved in, and sort of the 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 civic kind of awareness and the relationships they had forged and the stories they were telling. And I, and that was, that was never heard. That was never expressed anywhere. So, you know, I just felt the fans were getting sort of shortchanged in their depiction and needed to tell their story. Well, I love the idea that you guys took the time to talk with, with some of these Trekkies about, about their own creations. I mean, they're, they're creating their own little Star Trek mini films and stuff like that. Well, what a brilliant idea and a way to explain express their inner feelings oh my god yes i mean i've seen i've seen sets and costumes and things that rival anything i've seen uh in in the legit uh arena you know i mean phenomenal stuff one one of the things that i do um I, as a sideline basically or a side job is that I, i'm an efficient for weddings do you know how many star trek weddings i've done i, I it, it, there's so many because people are so in love with with their passion for star trek as well as their the you know the person they want to be married to oh my god that's hysterical i i mean look i, I that's not surprising there's there's a very big uh annual star trek convention that's been going on uh, for many, many years in Las Vegas every summer. 
and a number of people renew their vows on on the kind of <laughs> replica of the bridge, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, was, I keep waiting for Star Trek fans to to basically get their own day because I mean May Fourth we are, we already know that belongs to Star Wars, but so Star Trekkies need need to find their their day as well. Oh yeah, I, I'm surprised that that doesn't exist. <laughs> so what? Uh oh, we might we, we might have a movement underway. <laughs> What did you learn from going out there to be with the the real people and to hear as quacky as they are? Because they're, I laughed, I laughed a lot, but I wasn't making fun of anybody. But there's still a lesson to be right. learned there. You know, I mean, I come away with just we're we're all we're all eccentric in our own ways. You know, we all have passions and things that we're that we're into and you know it's 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 not such a bad thing to be you know really into a kind of um uh future utopian vision of of what the future could look like and to sort of emulate those kind of um those kind of uh, uh ideals and um you know it's it's not so bad after all you know there's nothing uh disparaging about it and um you know there's some of the brightest and warm-hearted and kind people that uh, i have i have come across yeah and it's need more of it and and what's so shocking is that you know um in the everyday world at work you would never know a lot of these uh, uh you know fans or trekkies trekkers are are so involved in it because when, when you learn of it and they show you a picture you're going oh my god i had no clue <laughs> well, back then, for sure, you know, I think people are uh, are, are are much more um, out, so to speak, you know, with their with their uh, allegiance to you know sci-fi and um, and you know wear it proudly. I think when Bill Gates started going to Microsoft meetings, board meetings with Spock ears on, I think, you know, it, it opened up things a little bit as well. The nerds started to inherit the world. <laughs> a, and you know what? You and you and you help make it OK on, on in, in, in what you do with Trekkies, the 25th anniversary edition. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. Uh -huh. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, you're a doll. Yeah, my Montana friend. You got it. Thank you so much. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? Oh, bless your heart. You too.